Nestled in the quaint community of Ancillary is a laboratory for innovation and creative thinking, merging mathematics and science into tangible expressions for learning. Grade 2 teacher at the Ancillary Infant School, Martina Rafael Polio, conceptualized a novel project to create 2D and 3D objects by combining mathematics and science to keep her students engaged, confident and connected to their learning. I want the children to see that there is joy in doing mathematics. There is something about mathematics. Mathematics is all around the world. We use it in baking, we use it in um, farming, we use it in, in nursing. We use mathematics all over the world. And we warn them, whether you become a farmer, you can use mathematics. And they have been exposed to these um, contents. They have been exposed. So I, told, I said, students, we are going to do something very creative using mathematics, and you will love it. The students, assisted by their parents, designed their projects, guided by an agreed template which focused on the use of everyday materials such as plastic, metal, cloth, wood or paper to form 2D and 3D shapes to complete their project. They use that information from the template to create a bar graph and a pictograph because these children were exposed to data management, representing data in tables and I am very, very pleased that this activity was excellently done by all of the students who presented the project here today. Creativity was on full display as students presented their projects. A school bus, model homes, playgrounds, beach chairs, and even a one-of-a-kind greater. Caitlin Montout and Janash Michel explained their projects. I made a pack. I made different, I have different materials like cloth and plastic, paper. So my teacher told me it's not that hard to do math. And it's not, we can do math in anything. And my mother and father helped me do this project. My project is a fighter jet. It has a pilot in the front and the two wings has two guns on it and the back wings has one gun and under it has the four wheels so when it's about to take off the four wheels could make it take off while it's driving so it could kill the by the dinosaur before the dinosaur destroys the world. Albert Joseph is the principal at Ansley Infant. He says the school recognizes the cultural diversity of their community and thus innovation is at the center of teaching and learning. So the children are very much engaged in creative, the creative aspect. We try to engage them in dance, into uh, music, into theater all of these, as well as to marry the academics as well. So we, our vision, in essence, we are looking to ensure that we create a holistic child, ensuring that they have all the skills that are necessary so that they can function not just in school, but outside in the world as well. From 12.30 p.m. to 1 p.m. is USSR, which stands for Uninterrupted Sustained Silent Reading, another initiative employed at the Ancillary Infant School to encourage the love of reading and improve comprehension skills. We've gotten the children books, we've had them begin to read, and as long as they hear the bell, they know that it is time to get into their seats, select a book, and begin to read. And they've enjoyed it, they've read so many books. With the challenges faced by the COVID-19 pandemic and the negative effects on both students and teachers, the Ancillary Infant School has added innovation to make learning fun engaging and creative for its students. For the National Competitiveness and Productivity Council, Glenn Simon reporting.